want you to meet someone. Val Birch. This is my old friend, Adrian Monk. Adrian? Oh, gym class must have been hell with a name like that. Yes, yes it was. Thank Are you. you nearly done, or do you just like touching me? Almost uh, done. Adrian's here from San Francisco. Oh, Frisco. God-awful town. I was there last year. It was foggy the whole week. When are they going to do something about all that fog? Well, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll make some calls. I couldn't see a damn thing. Not even that um, uh, golden bridge they got? The Golden Gate. No, genius. The bridge. Right, that's what they call it, the Golden Gate. Uh, OK, OK. Testing one, two, three. We're done, OK? Yeah. That idiot's won seven times in a row. Adrian, I know he's cheating. I just can't figure out how. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why are you making that face? We're in rugged terrain. This is my rugged terrain face. Okay. okay, she was she was traveling east. Her car went off the road up there and ended up right here between these two rocks. Haven't the police already been here? Well, that's true, but they weren't really looking for anything. This wasn't a criminal investigation. What is it? Something? Something intended for Dwight Ellison. An exercise tape. Did you bring those baggies? Oh, this is real evidence, isn't it? Oh, goodness. I feel like a... What's the matter? Are you OK? I just swallowed a bug. You, you what? I'm OK. Oh, God. What is it? It's Val Birch. He was here. Kevin? It's okay, I spit that one out. Oh, God. Just let's get out of here and, God sake, cover your mouth. Okay. It's just a videotape. Thighs and abs, 10 minutes a day to a perfect you. Does it mean anything to you? No, me neither. We're at Val Birch's house now. I just want to have another word with him. No, I'll be fine. Thanks, I appreciate that, Dwight. I don't think he's home. Hello, Mr. Birch. Hello, it's Adrian Monk. We spoke yesterday at the show. Mr. Birch, I'm here too. Kevin Dorfman, I'm his upstairs neighbor. It looks unlocked. What do you think? Well, we can't go in without a reason. I'm kind of thirsty. Does that count? No, Kevin. Thirst is no excuse for breaking and entering. Wouldn't it be cool if it was? Yes, that would be cool. Here, let me. What are you doing now? What are you doing? I'm leaning in. Yeah, I went to law school for three semesters. You can lean anywhere you want. It's in the Constitution. I can't imagine which Constitution you're referring to. You know what? Grab my pants. Pardon me. Grab my pants. I need the counterweight. Kevin, I really don't want to grab your pants. If I touch that floor, it's a felony. Mr. Birch? Hello? Mr. Birch? Hello? Kevin, you see that? Pencil on the chair. Can you reach that? I got it. Boy, yes, I got it. Do you still have the pencil that Roddy Linkman gave you yesterday? The collectible.
Kevin, do you have the pencil? I have the pencil. He was here. Right, Lankman was here. But why? Maybe they were trying to figure out how to cheat. Let's go. Hi, this is your old pal, Val. Leave your message when you hear the beep. He's checking his messages. You have one saved message, May 2nd, 7.39 p.m. He's skipping that one. You have one new message today, 10.15 a.m. Mr. Burge, this is Tony Forrest at Southland Mercedes. I have some good news for you. The new 640 you ordered will be in tomorrow. Got it here in three weeks, just like I promised. Let me know when you want to pick it up. He ordered a new Mercedes-Benz four weeks ago. Before he went on the show. That's what I call confidence. He knew he was going to win. If we can figure out how they're cheating, we can nail them both. I have to get closer. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.